Hello, how are we all doing? It's Colin here. I'm standing in the shed of death and I greet you all suffering from the ongoing global pandemic. That's right, this is the third time I've got it now. But nonetheless, you'll have to apologise if I'm maybe coughing or sniffling throughout this. What have we got for you today? Well, this is actually something a little bit different. This is a product review of a particular item that I was sent in early 2022. Between one thing and the other, I never got around to actually using it and testing it. And recent events gave me the opportunity to test it and use it and then examine it to its full potential. And it has actually really, really impressed me. Now, stating off, first of all, complete transparency. I was sent this for free. I was contacted by email by the product supplier distributor here in the UK. Um, quick email back and forward. They asked me now to give an honest opinion about it. I says, yeah, sure. <laughs> and Eight and a half months later, I'm finally getting around it. Would I give this my thumbs up? We're going to see. But what are we talking about here, first of all? This here is the Top Dawn BT100. Now, this is actually quite a competent little battery tester, um, especially for the price. I have been looking at them here online before I made this video. Currently, they're anywhere between about £35 and £45 pound on Amazon. I'm going to leave a link directly to the cheapest that I can find on Amazon at the end of the video if you feel that this is a product that you would like to purchase and also based on my opinion at the end. Why have I finally got around to using it? Well, the other halves were over 75 volt near to give up on me the other day. It sort of left me a bit of a situation of anyone who knows how to a Rover 75 diesel alternator, bit of an awkward job. I'm landing in the house with COVID. It's not exactly a, a friendly job to do in the driveway. Thankfully, good old best mate Mark Sterling came to rescue me and save my ass on that one there. So, big up to Mark. But before we got it down to Mark, I had busted out the multimeter. And I was checking a few things. I was getting pretty inconsistent readings. You know, there was times that the battery was fully charged into 14.4 volts at uh, idle. Um, there was times it was dropping to 11.2. And it made me think, maybe it's not the alternator, maybe it's the battery. But I didn't want to spend the money on the battery unnecessarily unless I had to. Sure enough, I remembered I had this sitting. And I have to apologise to the supplier because I really had genuinely forgotten to review this. Um, plugged it onto the battery, tested it. And because it has the ability to recognise multiple batteries of multiple manufacturers, of multiple standards, and giving you a full health diagnostic, I was able to know instantly it wasn't the battery. Sure enough, Mark O swapped the alternator for me, saved me having to do it before I was coughing my guts out. And this has saved me on unnecessary expense. What do I think of this as a product overall? It's not a bad wee bit of kit, but I'm going to do a quick video here and show you how easy it is to use. And then with my final opinion and the link to the product at the end of the video. Nice little bit of kit, nice size, you know, about the size of a large-ish mobile phone nowadays. Pretty compact and has quite a sensible and chunky instruction manual. Now, I have resealed this up for this video, so I have had this open already. Um, and I'm going to open it up here for you now so you can see exactly what the contents are. So, here's the wee unit itself. Again, like I say, very lightweight unit. And the beauty of this little unit is you don't have to put any batteries on it. Using the positive and negative terminals, it will take a charge off the battery itself obviously it means if the battery is completely flat this isn't going to work for you but nonetheless it's pretty good and i think if you know the battery is completely flat you're probably going to have charged it anyway and if you haven't charged it you're probably going to have to charge it to test it to begin with on top of that then there's quite a chunky little instruction manual here it comes in english spanish french german russian and italian so it also has some very very detailed imagery um, which is quite nice because there's quite a lot of options in here as well whenever you actually get into operating it and if you don't know the various types of batteries how to look for different loads etc etc this is a great little manual for covering you through everything so again top marks for this and um, very simple very straightforward and unlike a lot of products it's not printed in like dodgy chinese translated to english it's written in proper english Easy to understand, good quality images, exactly the same as what's on the Wii uh, device itself. So, 
Top marks for that straight away, and I'm going to connect it up here and show you exactly how easy it is to test the power. And as if by magic, I've cursed myself for saying that, the battery I was going to use is dead and flat. Um, this was actually my bad battery that I was going to use, but there's not even enough charge in it to show it. So, as soon as you get it plugged on, I'm going to show you what happens. Little loading screen's a bit hard to see. Straight away, it comes up and tells you the basic voltage of the battery. Lovely little option screen here. So, hit center button for menu. And you have a variety of options here. Forgive me for having to do it this way. You're doing a battery test, you have a cranking test, a charging test, etc. Now, the cranking test is one that is especially useful for us Rover 75 owners and Rover owners in general. Um, as many of us have often thought, whenever you came out to the car on a cold day, tried to start the 75 or ZT or whatever, cranks, lights, flashes, battery showing that it's a good for, you know, 13 and a half volts, but it needs that bit more. So, cranking test is a really good one, but it's simply controlled up and down using the wee buttons. So what we're going to do is we're going to perform a basic battery test by pressing enter. Now using the details on the battery we're going to go for the various options that we have along here. Now if you don't know what these different battery types are it usually says on your battery itself. So for example on this particular battery it has all the details I could possibly need. So here we go. To CCA battery, click that, and 607, 680 actually, yep, and testing. Now, sometimes the batteries will be recognized by the device, depending on the manufacturer, but I have found so far, because I'm pretty cheap, most of my batteries are not. So here we are, after all that, it's showing that this battery has a 29% health. This is a battery I only use for jump starting cars or uh, if cars are parked up. So I had a feeling this wasn't going to be a great battery. 87% charge, confirming that we have 15.52 volts. Recommended replace. So that's definitely something I suspected anyway. Now the next feature we have on this little unit, which is really, really useful. It's a cranking test and a charging test. Now, the cranking test is obviously whenever we start the car. So, I'm going to crack on, start the car here. Hit enter, start engine. Gives you 30 seconds or so to start the engine. Check the neutral. And we come back round here. Gives you the time in milliseconds, the voltage when cranking, and the cranking rate. Again, a useful little feature to have on this. I know for a fact this is one of my older batteries as well. It's going to need replaced at some stage, but nice to have. Now, the other thing as well is, and this is where it's going to really, really help people out, is the charging test. So, very simple. Connect your battery up and press enter to start the continue. Simple process, comes through, loads up relatively quickly. Now it's asking me to take the RPM 2500, and I shall do that now. There we are. Gives you the appropriate values. Switch the car off here. Very, very handy to have. Um, especially if you're like me and you're not someone who is, you know, particularly electrically knowledgeable. So after we've done all that, now this is a mixture of data based on this battery and the old battery, so it's not really true information. Um, it's still telling us based on the last battery to replace. So I'm just going to disconnect this all now. So there we go. Um, nice little bit of kit. Do I recommend you buy one? Yes. God's honest truth, yes. It has saved my biscuits here. And that is why I am doing this review. Because it's a product that actually proved its worth before I've done the review. 
it helped me figure out with my 75 exactly what was going on. Multitude of features on it, testing batteries on the bench, testing charging, etc, etc. You can change the languages, it's as simple as just scrolling up and down and picking it. And it is, for me, value for money, quite a useful and inexpensive bit of kit. Where do I think it particularly is going to benefit someone? Well, if you have several cars, you're probably going to be like me. You might not have them on the road all year long. So you park them up in the shed or park them in the garage or whatever, and you turn them over to charge the battery, etc. Well, maybe just before you turn them over, it might be worth checking the battery. And if the battery's okay, then turning the car over and you can see what it's charging at. We all know that it's that one time of the year that you take the car out for the first time in four or five months. It drives okay, you get to where you're going, you come back, put your key in, car won't start. Batteries flat, alternators gone, whatever. This is going to be your friend in preventing that. Especially if you're quite religious about keeping an eye on your batteries over the colder times of the year. And also if you have a selection of vehicles that you're not using all the time. Like I say, I would purchase this with my own money. I highly recommend it. Is it going to replace a multimeter? No. Is it a nice compliment to a multimeter? Absolutely. Um, especially from the point of view of being a simple bit of kit. Like I say, it comes in a nice wee box, instruction manuals, blah, blah, blah. Um, at the minute, I have found it on Amazon in and around £38. Some of the links are cheaper. What I will do is when I put this video up, I will post up there the link to the cheapest one on Amazon in the UK. Now, the company that supplied it to me, um, I don't know how much that cost them originally. <laughs> so it's been sitting, like I said, it's been sitting here several months. And I have discovered that these have been selling as much as £55. So there's a bit of um, price and variety. So find the cheapest you can, buy it. Recommend it all day long. Nice week, simple bit of kit, and really, really, if you are a shed enthusiast like me who just likes to tinker and repair stuff in their spare time, this is a great wee thing to have about you. But anyway, folks, that's it. That's the review of the Top Dawn 100, uh, BT 100 to be specific. That's that. Should have done that about nine months ago. And it just shows you that if I hadn't had this, I wouldn't have been able to know within 10 seconds of popping a bonnet on that 75 of mine, and that would tell me that my alternator was gone. Yes, you can be reasonably sure going other ways with uh, multimeters and the like, but this gave me the definite answer, and I really, really recommend it for that purpose. So, that's it folks. Thank you very much. Another wee quick video, Robson Rover Repair. Um, if you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. I really, really hope you enjoy that. There's going to be more product reviews on the channel coming forward here in the next year or two. And if you have a product that you would like me to review, if it's related to vehicles, if you want me to test something, etc., please get in contact. The details are in the uh, About section of the YouTube channel, or you can find me on the various social medias. Links there. And that's that. So... Catch us in the next video.